Yeah, Bill. Um, yeah. You know, just as the season is going on, do, do you need a set five, or is this a group that you're okay playing six or seven game to game? Well, you, you'd always obviously like to have a set five. I mean, I think we have a set five right now. The good thing that we have is, you know, we got Swenson, who's, who's done a good job. He's, he's battling some back injuries right now. Um, but he's a guy that, that I can, with the exception of center, you know, I, can, I feel good about throwing him in at any position, which I did last week. He played left tackle. He played right guard. Um, was going to start him out the second half, but he, his back just couldn't go at that point in time, you know. So, um, but yeah, ideally, you always want to have a set five and guys that can go, but you want to have guys that can go in there and play when guys aren't performing. And, you know, we got one in him, and he's fine now. You know, it was just, you know, that point in time, he couldn't get in a stance, so, you know, we couldn't, couldn't put him on the field, you know. But, you know, got some other guys that are getting better. Um, don't feel 100% comfortable putting them on the field today, but they're making some improvements. So, um, and that's the key for every guy. It doesn't matter if you're playing really well or you're not playing good. You got to continually improve. Ryan Amor. Yeah, Bill, I want to ask you specifically about Juan Ian Morris. What, what have you seen from him? How do you feel like he's progressed? You know, he's like a lot of guys, very inconsistent, you know, um, doesn't totally grasp everything we're doing right now has got to continue to work harder at it outside of here, which a lot of guys do. I've got to coach him better. I mean, obviously everything starts with me, but um, if you just put in the time, you come over here for four hours a day and that's all you do, you're never going to reach your potential. And I think they're getting better at doing that. I mean, we're, we are getting better, so those things are improving. Um, you know, they got to continue to work hard. He's, he's one guy, but every single guy does. Just generally, we haven't had a chance to talk to you in a while. Uh, Just generally, how do you feel like your guys have played this season? Uh, very inconsistent. Some really, really good things and some really, really bad things. You know, some of it's, you know, inexperience at certain positions, at very important positions. Um, some of it's preparation. Some of it's obviously coaching. You know, it all falls on me. But um, I do think we've gotten better. I think the, the West Virginia game wasn't very good, and that's 100% on me. I put them in some pass protection situations that I thought we could handle and we couldn't. Um, that, that was my fault. Um, after that, we've had to you know, simplify a few things here and there um, to make it a little bit easier. Um, but uh, you know, I think we've gotten better, and I, I think it showed up last week. Again, like I said, the West Virginia game was a game that, that we weren't very good, and that's – that was disappointing, but again, you know, I got to do a better job of putting them in the situations to be successful. Uh, Bill, you guys are six and zero, so no problem there, right? But when you assess it, penalties have been a problem for the offensive line, and you've got yeah, they were in one game. You've got yeah. some pre-snap, you've got some holding, which are effort penalties, and then you've got some you know personal foul type stuff. Yeah. How do you how do you coach that? How do you coach that to, to fix it or? reach that kind of fine line? Well, yeah, there was the Kansas State game, which the holdings had nothing to do with effort. They were uh, bad technique, you know, um, which, I, again, that's on me, you know. Now, you got to take the proper angles. You got to understand how the defense is going to play the play that we are running and what they are doing. And again, that falls back on me. Um, but they had nothing to do with effort. Our effort has not been a problem one time this year, in my opinion. Um, everybody has their own opinions, but effort, trying hard, playing hard, that's not an issue. Um, if that was an issue, we'd have some big problems. Um, but all the other things, you know, myself and those guys can fix. I apologize. I, did, I misspoke when I said effort penalty. I mean, like effort, like you're trying to stop the guy from crushing a quarterback so you hold him. Yeah. That's what I meant by effort. Well, yeah, and, and that's bad technique. You know what I mean? And again, it's, well, there's a great example of, of, coaching it. Yeah, like I said, Kansas State, we had um, a, a problem. Um, but if you look at the touchdown throw that Caleb had to Marvin, really good protection. Guy started to get beat late, could have been in better position, um, had his arm wrapped around, let go. Caleb could step up in the pocket. Now, if that was last week or two weeks ago, do we get a holding penalty? Probably. 
It had nothing to do with effort. It was being in bad position. And then understanding when you get to that position of where they're going to call holding, you got to let go. And then whatever happens, happens, you know. And trust me, we, we have had more penalty education this year than at any point in my career, any point. I mean, we've shown penalties. We go through and we, we show other people's penalties and how they are calling penalties, and we've done it as much as anybody. Bill, when you, you decided to go with Rain at center, how has he gone? How has he done since you put him in, and how is he progressing right now? <clears throat> you know, he's getting better. Um, he's, he's inexperienced, you know. I mean, he's extremely inexperienced. Some of the things, he just has not seen the things that previous guys have. But everybody's got to understand Creed Humphrey, you know, which is the bar. We've had some really, really good centers here. And Andrew Rame's going to be a great center here. Creed Humphrey redshirted. He practiced with us. He sat in every meeting playing the position. And he was a big, strong, athletic guy walking in here. You know, Rame's got to improve in all those things. Understand, and again, I've got to get him up to speed, but understanding defenses, understanding that things change week to week. And when we come in there Monday and we have a game plan, you got to process it and you got to do it. That's part of being a center. Um, and he's getting it and he's getting better. But, you know, unfortunately, it's a process. You know, I mean, it's his first time playing center, you know, and um, we see different things. You know, people. You know, they obviously do what they do for the most part, but people are going to scheme us too, you know. And he just hadn't seen those things as much as you would like up to this point. Um, plays extremely hard. Plays, tries really, really hard to the point a lot of times he's out of control, you know. Um, but again, the effort's not the problem. Playing hard's not the problem. It's relaxing, settling down having the confidence in what we are doing and what you are calling, and then those things will come together. Um, but it is a process. It takes time. You got a bunch of guys, probably unfairly, you got a bunch of guys in the NFL who you're judged by, your offensive lines have been so good. Do you think you'd, you'd be this deep into the season, kind of still kind of figuring things out? where guys are playing, do you think that back in the summer? You think no, that's a good question. I don't think we're really trying to figure out where guys are playing. I mean, we know where guys are playing. Um, we still are at a point where we've got guys competing to play, you know. And, yes, do I wish that I could say I am 100%. We've got to start five guys, you know. I mean, that's just – that's what it is what it is. But do I wish I could say this dude is the clear-cut starter – and nobody else is even close to them. Yeah, I do, but we're not at that point. So, again, you just got to continue to work. You got to continue to prepare. You got to continue to fight. You got to continue to get better. I mean, that's what it's about. You know, fortunately, like somebody said, we're 6 and 0. We're getting better. Are we where we need to be? No, we're not. You know, but if we continue to build off of last week and understand the preparation that it took and the practice that it took to be successful as we were. You know, after the first two series, we weren't worth the damn. But then as we went on, the game went on, we played pretty good for the rest of the game. You know, and again, I think it just came down to they, those guys were confident. They didn't worry about doing anything but their job. The score didn't matter. Um, it was doing your job play after play. And, um, you know, we are relatively young and experienced at some positions. You know, now it's not an excuse. It is what it is. It's my job to make sure that these guys get up to speed. And I do. I think they'll continue to improve. Jenny Carlson. Hey, Bill, you mentioned uh, uh, penalty education with John a second ago. Is that a reflection on your guys and their experience level, or are officials calling things a little differently now? I, well, I didn't hear the first part. The, the penalty education you mentioned that to John, is that a reflection on your guys and their experience, or are officials calling some things differently now? Um, I don't know. You know, the, the very first game when we had a, you know, some false starts, which shouldn't happen because they were shifting and moving, and our defense does that. I mean, we practice against them. What is that? That's a focus, you know. I mean, you know, you can, I mean, heck, a false start's a false start. I mean, you can't go until we snap the ball, you know. But, again, we see that stuff all the time. That, that's a mental focus deal. You got to be focused in and understand, you know, what's happening. You know, some holdings, you know, do I agree that they're holding? No. You know, but um, that's just part of it. 
You know, I mean, they're going to call some things. And, you know, if, if you, for the most part, you know, if you, if you play with proper technique, for the most part, um, you know, you're not going to get called in, holding calls. And like I tell them, if they do, it's on me. I mean, if you do exactly what I'm coaching you to do, and they call holding, it's my fault, you know. Generally, it's not going to happen. It happens at times because, again, they're refs. They're human. They see some things. Like if a guy goes down to the ground, it doesn't mean you're holding them. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just – that's reality. They may call it holding, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't necessarily agree with it, but that's what it is. But I, I don't think it's been like, oh, my God, this is a huge issue. You had a Kansas State game. We had three holdings. You know, we did have one in this game, which was clearly a holding. You know, guy got out of bad position. Quarterback had to move and held on. If he would just let go, we'd have been fine. But again, when you're in the heat of the battle, and if you've ever played offensive line, it's hard. You know your quarterback's about to get hit. You know somebody's about to get tackled, and you know you don't want it to be your fault. Things happen. Okay, up front. Yeah, coach. Uh, is it a little different? We were talking about Kennedy Brooks' running style and how he's kind of patient and kind of kind of waits and looks and sees. Is it a little different blocking for a guy who runs that way than other guys? You know, I get asked that question a lot. I get asked about quarterbacks, and, and my best answer is you, you have a play call against a front. You've got a protection where the quarterback should be. You know what I mean? And, like, honestly, I don't even know who the running back is in the game. You know what I mean? So they dang sure don't. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a play call, it's a front, it's a movement, and you leverage the blocks based on whatever the play call is. So um, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. When I played the position, I, ne I never knew who was back there. I got a play call. I knew the front, and I blocked it and tried to leverage the block based on where the play was going, and that's it. That's a good question, but, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think it changes. development of Savion Bird and Aaron Parks come along? Savion's pr been pretty good. He had uh, he missed a few days um, for some injury stuff. Um, you know, and then he's kind of been back and forth and scout team and all that stuff. Um, Aaron's been on scout team. You know, when he does pass rush, you know, he's doing a good job. He's got to continue to change his body. He's too thin right now, so like a lot of our guys, you know, they got to – you know, do, do the things out here outside of football, you know, eat the right way, sleep the right way, hydrate the right way so you can keep the weight on, you know, and um, it's hard, you know, it's hard when you're blocking a damn D lineman that's bigger than you, you know what I mean? So, you, you know, you got to do the things to get your body in the right position. Being so inexperienced at center, has Tyrese Robinson become the leader of this group? Yeah, he's been the leader. I think Tyrese has done awesome. He's uh, he's really probably exceeded my expectations at tackle. Really has. Um, you know, he's not probably the length. He's got the athleticism. He probably doesn't have the length, but he has a really, really good pass set. He's really playing good. He's playing at a high level. So, and Tyrese was a leader from the beginning, you know, so um, that, that hadn't changed much. But um, obviously, they've got to trust and they've got to listen to the center. They, even, I even if he calls something wrong and you know it's wrong, you've got to do it because we can make it work. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what they've got to do a better job of. That's been some of our issues, you know. This guy knows what the call should be. He may make another call. I don't care. Do what he called. We'll make it work. You know what I mean? So, um, but he, yeah, he's been the leader the whole time. Thank you, Bill. Thanks. Thank you.